of my favorite companies in the Mac industry here is uh, Boink Software, and I'm here with Oliver Breidenbach, who's a great friend of the Mac community, and uh, and he adores me. So we're going to have a chat. <laughs> we're going to have a chat about his products here. Yes. Uh, what are you What are you showing at the show today? Uh, we're showing um, our live video uh, production system, uh, Mimo Live. Uh, it's uh, able to switch multiple video camera sources, uh, add graphics, uh, social media, Twitter feed, what have you, and stream it out to uh, Facebook, Fuse, Fusebook, <laughs> Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, anything that takes an RTMP uh, live stream. Uh, you can also record it to disk, so if you want to do quick, pro uh, quick video production, like for example, uh, record a presentation or something, uh, editing while it happens, live editing uh, saves you a lot of time because you don't have to do post-production. Very cool. So this is this is software that replaces expensive hardware switchers, correct? Yes, absolutely. Uh, everything that's in a TV truck that costs a million dollars is available in your laptop with Mimo Live. So uh, I am going to confess that we had breakfast with uh, Oliver and his uh, brother Akeem just last week, and uh, he we started talking about Mimo Live, and he said, "Well, let's just go back to your house and we'll uh, we'll go set it up for you." So they did a private lesson for us, which was uh, that's quite the way to really learn a product. We're going to try to use this for the live show, so that's why you guys care about this product, if not to buy it for yourselves, to see what we're going to be able to do with it. One of our goals is to move the production from me over to Steve, because he's on a high-end uh, iMac and I'm on a laptop, and it doesn't make sense for me to be doing all the juggling while I'm creating the live show. So why don't you start showing us what Mimo Live looks like? So Mimo Live is uh, basically very uh, structured very easily. So on the one end, you have your inputs. On the other hand, you have your outputs. So the workflow is pretty easy from, from left to right. Uh, you have your inputs. You have your mixing. Uh, you set up the the um, you set up the uh, parameters of uh, all the graphical elements that you can position. You have a multi view with um, overview of all your video sources, and there's your outputs, your streams, your recordings, your anything. So it looks very intimidating because there's a lot of information on the screen, but actually it's a quite easy to follow uh, and to configure once you've uh, mastered the, th these basic principles. So when we first saw you doing this, it, it was really intimidating, but when uh, after you left, we started poking around on our own, and we were able to put up a PodFeed logo, we put a clock onto, onto the presentation, so we started getting the hang of it a little bit pretty quickly. Yeah, th I mean, this is one of the core philosophies of our company, is uh, we want to make software that's very, very powerful, so if you have uh, very big brand names and uh, uh, professionals using Mimo Life, but we wanted to make it accessible to kids. So uh, a lot of our uh, most favorite users are children in schools, um, and they are able to operate it by themselves, and they figure it out and configure it and whatever, and probably easier and, sh and faster than than their teachers. And that's kind of the exciting thing, you know, um, enabling those kids to be like real uh, broadcasters. Yeah, so this is, Becca, I'm old enough that this was uh, the equivalent of the intercom system that you'd say, today at 4 o'clock there will be a uh, festival in the quad area, right? But now it's a video, they're watching it on yeah. TV, they're doing like little looks, news shows yeah, and looks, stuff. It looks, like, it looks like a news show, like uh, two anchor people, you know, they have green screen uh, and, and like, the B-rolls, they play inserts, and uh, all the kinds of, you can all do all of that in, in Mimo Life. Kids are smarter than us, too. You're right. They're, they're going to learn this faster <laughs> than I am. <laughs> yeah, that's, let's hope that they are smarter. <laughs> the, the future is bright. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So, uh, Mimo Live uh, for uh, a home user, what, what kind of pricing are we talking about? Uh, so, we have a yearly cost of uh, 199 uh, If you buy three years, you get one free, so it's... Uh, uh, two, uh, f three for the price of two years. Uh, you can do also a monthly license uh, that's about, I think, 1999 or something. Um, and you can also uh, only purchase the months you want to use. So uh, you can, you know, um, only pay per use, basically. Uh, oh, that's a great way. That's kind of a pretty flexible model. That's good. Is there a free trial? Yes, you can download a free trial. Um, it'll have a, a, a watermark overlay. Uh, but uh, you can play around with it and, and uh, see, if it's for see, you, right? if, see if it's for you. And, uh, and uh, if you want to do more 
uh, production level um, testing, then we'll be happy to give you a month or two free. I see. So what I like about this is it allows you to progressively increase the level of madness of what crazy things you start doing. And right now my production is real stable and working regularly, so we need to change it up. That's what we're looking yeah, for, right? Yeah, spice it up a little. <laughs> exactly. Now you also wanted to show us something else we have running on the iPad here. Yes, uh, called Photo Presenter. It's an app that we developed for Bastian, actually. Uh, so the idea is that you can scroll, uh, scroll through your photo library pick uh, photos and they will show up on your uh, TV show. So for example, you're doing, you're showing your um, your grandparents your vacation photos. You don't want to see them all of the photos, right? It's, there's some photos in there you want, don't want them to see. So you can just scroll through your photo library and pick the ones you want them to see and they will show up. So that's the basic idea. Uh, useful also for non-linear presentation in the business environment. For example, we have um, an aquarium uh, and they do uh, presentations um, talking about the fish that swim up to the, to the fish tank uh, 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 glass. And you can't tell the fish to swim up in a certain order and so the shark comes along and the person wants to talk about the shark so they find the shark images, uh, click on the shark image and it shows up. And so this is a non-linear form of presentation where you don't have a, like, a, like a keynote or uh, PowerPoint set up that you follow through. So you just uh, pick a photo and it will show up. So you just tapped a photo on the iPad screen, yes. and uh, that's been uh, connected up to his uh, to this monitor. And I can tell it's going through Mimo Live because I recognize yes. that clock on the side, yes. and it's got some so lower thirds. Actually, actually, we're showing what we're showing here is the NDI technology, which is uh, basically a software replacement for a hardware cable. So uh, your HDMI cable, you know that from hooking up your TV to uh, to your video. Right. Video. Um, NDI tries to replace that, so you uh, don't have to hook up your TV and your um, your device with a special cable. You can just use the internet or Ethernet IP uh, connection, basically wireless or network. Um, oh, really? Wireless yes. or hardware? Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, so this is wirelessly sending this NDI signal to our Mimo Life, and we use it as a video source here. So we got this photo here. We can. Um, uh, zoom in, uh, zoom in to the photo. Uh, that's the wrong one. It's uh, kind of hard to press the buttons when you're doing this sideways, like sideways. That, yeah. And then we can highlight, you know, the important. Oh, he's got a picture, by the way, for those only listening. This is Oliver and Akeem with Steve Wozniak. With Wozniak, yeah. And what are you guys holding there? That's that's an Apple One uh, oh, computer. Oh wow. wow! So um, the raw board. Uh, yes, the, the was was kind enough to sign one for us, so we've got a signed uh, Apple One board. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic! Yeah. So what's cool is if you look, Steve, over at the uh, at the iMac Pro, the beautiful dark gray iMac Pro, you can see that he's set up that that uh, the picture that's coming from Photo Presenter is in as a video this source is, over on the left. Is this one. It's gonna be here. This is the this 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 is the incoming video source, and this is the signal that goes out. So this is called the program out. This is the same image you see on the on the screen over there. Uh, this is the same image that will go to Facebook, YouTube, live stream. So th this is the the program out, and these are the sources you can see, and you can quickly switch uh, to a different source here. Uh, uh, so yeah. Uh, we got a couple of cameras here and we can switch around and I think this one is... So he's, he's clicking and just choosing different video sources as, as the inputs and it's switching yeah. live. Yes. Uh, one of the things that I really liked in uh, the, the home uh, tutorial that you did for us was you set me up with my iPad where I could actually do some of the switching from my room even though the software is running in Steve's room. What was that called? That's the remote control surface. Uh, it's, an, it's a web service that we built into Mimo Life, so you can use it on any other computer with a browser. Uh, your iPad, your iPhone, Android device, your laptop, your Mac. So that actually solved the last piece of the puzzle was I want to give Steve control 
But I couldn't figure out, was I going to have to say on the air, okay, Steve, switch to my video source for my laptop screen, you know, because I want to switch between me and my screen. And now I can just tap a button on my side and it's doing it. But all of the hardware work is over on Steve's Mac. So that's a really cool, cool feature. Yes. Uh, yeah. With that, <laughs> what should I say? <laughs> yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Approved. <And> that, <laughs> <laughs> Approved. Thumbs up. Uh, now, do you charge extra for that? Uh, no. No, it's all included um, in the basic package. So see, that's a, the beauty of, um, um, I mean, you know, subscription models are very controversial, but the beauty of it is, on the other hand, we don't have to charge, you know, all the nitty-gritty nitty -nitty things. There are some add-ons you can buy for Mimo Life, which is additional content, additional layers, uh, different kinds of lower thirds and stuff like that. But the basic functionality, we, when we update it, if you have a current subscription, you just get all the stuff for free. That's fantastic. Okay, if some people want to find more about this, where would they go? Uh, boings.com slash MimoLife. B-O-I-N-X dot com is the, the website, of course. And, uh, and there's a big section about MimoLife. Very good. Thank you very much for, uh, for talking to us today. Thank, thanks for having me on the show. It's, a, it's always a pleasure.